Hey, so this morning I had um, the housekeeper come in and complaining because she, she's getting everything she asked for all summer long. And, and it made me think, stop complaining about getting what you want. It just didn't show up the way you wanted it to. That, that's, um, that spoiled mindset, right? Like a child that I didn't want this one. I wanted that one and just never appreciating anything that's being given to you, especially when you ask for it. So of course, something else just verified, share this message because you can spit on your, your blessing. You can sit here and say, you want all these things, right? You can focus your attention on it. You can pray for it. You can work hard for it. But when it didn't turn up, you didn't get the color cards you color car you wanted or the house isn't exactly the way you designed it in your mind or, you know, the meal that you ordered isn't exactly up to what you thought it would taste like. Whatever it is, you know, you're getting what you asked for just with some tweaks to it. And that's a, a thing where we all need to learn to be a lot more flexible with what it is we're asking for and what is showing up because you can let a lot of blessings pass you by never even realizing that well damn i asked for that you know and i know i've given an analogy in many videos back of god has a sense of humor and you have to learn to be very specific about what you want how you want it but with that you still have to be flexible because you're not going to always get that snow. Instead, you might have a mean substitute teacher named Miss Snow. And that's the story I'm talking about from many videos back that I shared that story with, about. So when it comes down to it, if you're really particular about what it is you want, then you better learn to manifest a lot better instead of just please, 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 please. I mean, you can have a childlike mentality and still just keep, that's not what I wanted. Ugh, take it away. But I mean, you can turn everything away in your entire life and never even get anything you asked for because it didn't look exactly like you thought it would. I mean, I, I look at my life. I'm in a relationship that I never thought I would have been in because for one, my family doesn't approve. And for my entire life, I allowed them to make my choices. So now when it comes down to it, I'm making my own choices. All of a sudden I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, but I had to be flexible with my idea of my ideal person. And on the backside that the same with my job, I, I like my job for the sense that it helps me take care of my family. Is it my ideal job? No. But of course, all of us, our ideal job is to sit at home, not really have to work. Money just keeps being thrown at us and we get to vacation and enjoy life, right? I mean, who wouldn't want that job just being paid to exist? <laughs> but that's basically what my housekeepers are asking for. They want to pay. They want to get paid but just because they're here and complain about everything. And when it comes down to people that are constantly complaining, my only bit of advice is to ignore them because they're miserable and they're trying to get you to be miserable. So they have someone to just shoot the shit with. They, they want to bring you down to their level. So when they see that you're progressing higher and you're just like, whatever, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's your life. Either go find a different job or stop complaining about this one. I don't know what to tell you. And the only thing I could tell both of them was you got what you wanted though. Now you can have a day to rest. No, there's no money. Now you have plenty of money. You don't spend anyways. It's going around trying to help somebody make sense about something that they already wanted and they can't appreciate. So when it comes down to it, like I said, the best thing you can do and the same thing I'm doing these days is ignore them. Let them be miserable on their own and just focus on your own blessings. But make sure when those blessings do come to you, that you show gratitude for those, that you do say thank you for those. I mean, it's like right now, 
my kids were not excited when I told them that we're moving. And now they're counting down the days. They're, we're all excited at this point. And I'm excited because I can't wait to share it with everybody and say, this is exactly what true faith, perseverance, hard work, dedication, what it will bring to your life. And that's the same thing with your blessings. As they're flowing to you, don't just, eh, no, that's not what I asked for. Because in the end, all you're going to do is feel um, as if you've been abandoned or left behind from God or the universe or whoever you believe in. You know, and it's when you have higher powers working for you, because nothing's working against you, it's all working for you to help you see the beauty of the world around you. But you're only going to get the reflection of the world that's within you. So you have to start being a lot more flexible with yourself. But at the same time, you have to start being more um, forgiving of yourself, loving towards yourself, compassionate, um, flexible. I don't know if I already said that, but just understand you have more power within you than what you're allowing yourself to, to know that you have. And when you can start actually appreciating yourself, you're going to find that others will start appreciating you. And when you're not used to that sort of interaction with people, you're going to start feeling kind of off at first. Don't let it go to your head though, <laughs> because you can very easily inflate your ego and walk around with a big head so big you can't even get through the door, you know? And I mean that in a figurative sense, not a literal sense, because we all know you're not going to turn into a balloon, but rather you're going to um, possibly just rip away everything that you worked so hard to achieve. So just remember, keep up your faith and do not overlook even a penny on the ground, a nickel on the ground. If you're, if you're trying to manifest money into your life, if you pay attention, you'll start finding a lot of change on the ground. And that's almost like, for me, that's the universe going, Hey, you're on the right track. Hey, you're getting in the frequency. Hey, you, you starting to feel the vibe and believe me, I have a jug that I just collect change. At this point, people give me change. I'm like the change queen, <laughs> but those pennies, those little bitty coins add up. And most people, it's funny, they toss that around and then they'll say that they're broke. But if you're wanting to draw in more of what you're thinking about, appreciate even the minuscule amount of what you're being given. Because if you'll just walk by it, overlook it and be like, no, that's too small. What are you going to get? Because now you're telling the universe, no, that's not up to par. That's not what I want. So if you're wanting something that's massive, that's going to require a lot of work, it's going to take a lot longer to see that come into fruition into your life. So start small, you know, if, like I said, if you're trying to manifest money, don't overlook the penny on the ground. If you're looking for love, don't, don't ignore the stranger who's waving at you or smiling at you. Because even on certain days, I mean, people drive by and smile at me and I'm just like, they, Hey, like they know me. Hey, I know you too. I don't know who you are, but it's, it's the sense that if people are acknowledging you acknowledge them back, we don't have to be such jerks in this world. And we also have to learn to be a lot more compassionate towards one another. And like I said, especially yourself, because you can sit here and, um, stereotype everyone, label everybody, prejudge them before you even speak to them. But that's really you picking apart aspects of yourself that you're not actually comfortable with or things you don't understand because those invoke fear. And then fear is something that leads to war. If you can't war with the war world around you, then you're going to war with yourself, right? It becomes an internal battle. And a lot of those battles will bring you to your knees. So just learn to be patient, learn to really put forth that gratitude, you know, and I've, I've tried to tell everyone to journal or take small steps, take a little bit of time out and think, what am I working for? What are my goals? Um, do I have any likes or dislikes? Like these are things I had to relearn about myself after I got out of a toxic relationship because I had lost myself. 
I didn't even know what I like to do anymore. I know what I liked to do at that time to distract myself from my relationship. And yes, some of those hobbies are still um, very interesting to me, but at the same time, I'm ready for bigger challenges, right? I'm ready for more growth. I'm ready to hone in on something that started as a hobby and can become something that is greater than that. So consider what your passions are, you know, what passion projects you have. And when you look at that from not just a, a standpoint of yourself, but how can it benefit the world? What can it change for the future and generations to come? When you start thinking like that, you're thinking outside of that thing called a box, that thing that everyone is stuck in. So if you want to get out of the box, stop thinking solely about yourself. Because yes, we are here, and I have also stated before that this is your world, but at the same time, we're all sharing it. So understand it's okay if you want to live for yourself, but you're not going to get very far on that path alone. And even if you are, it's just like water. It's going to flow in and out of your hands, not something that's going to remain tangible that you can hang on to. So not even that you want to hang on to it, because when you have a life of abundance, have a gracious heart because you didn't get there on your own. You know, there's greater powers working upstairs or all around you in the sense that there's an invisible team that's doing work to make sure you get the life you desire. But with that comes, you have to be willing to work hard. You have to understand that doesn't mean that the hardships will go away because in essence, it's like I reminded someone earlier, new levels, new devils. You're always going to keep meeting a challenge and those challenges are meant to make you stronger. So I'll go back to the very beginning of starting this video. Stop spitting on your blessings. Make sure that you're being appreciative and you have a grateful heart because if you think that you're owed something, you're being childish and foolish. So I'm gonna leave it on that note. I know it was a bit um, blunt. That's actually as I, who I am as a person and it tends to irritate people. So if you're still riding with me after learning I'm blunt, nah, it's probably gonna keep going progressively more and more into just shooting the spit with everybody. You know, it's time to get real. So peace, love and light. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.